Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay. So I think this is the first vlog I've filmed in December and I'm already thinking, ah, oh, I need to start thinking about the December roundup one. <laughs> Um, obviously this one is not going to be the December roundup one. I have at least one more week before I absolutely need to record that one and then figure out how to slot it in. Um, but I think, you know, just having, having released two roundup ones in a row, um, my brain is sort of being a bit weird with it, especially when, you know, I also then filmed, uh, some vlogs sort of very close together. So I feel like I'm further on than I actually am. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm still sort of like recovering from the weirdness that was um, November and not having a laptop for most of it. So <laughs> it's probably going to take me like a little while before I'm sort of properly back in the rhythm of doing these again. Um, I'm definitely getting back into the rhythm of doing these though. Um, I think that's part of the reason why I sort of got a whole load of them, I'll say a whole load of them, why I made sure that I was still on track with them um, so promptly, promptly, um, was to, you know, just make sure that, you know, everything was sort of, yeah, I, you know, I've done it for a long time, but having like a few weeks break, it's kind of weird, and it's kind of like trying to get back into the rhythm of it again, but yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm probably already there, <laughs> probably, maybe, I don't know. Um, I'm certainly sitting down without sort of kind of clear of what I want to talk about this time. Um, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant, right, right back into the swing of it. Um, see, I could talk about the fact that Christmas is coming up and um, this year Christmas is going to be completely different to what Christmas was like last year. So, obviously, we should all know last year we were in a pandemic situation. We are still in a pandemic situation, but the restrictions are uh, going to be slightly different this year. So, I'm not going to be spending Christmas on my own, which is what I did last year. Um, you know, fingers crossed, nothing happens. And God, please don't let anything happen. <laughs> uh, because I'm really looking forward to Christmas this year. Um, so... Taking last year out of the equation, because that last year was an anomaly, um, usually for Christmas, um, so my Christmas is sort of broken up a little bit, I think I've spoken about this before, I'm a child of divorce, so I had like Christmas with one parent and then Christmas with another parent, um, and then because neither of my brothers live locally, that has to be sort of arranged and, and navigated around um, a little bit, so I'm used to sort of like Celebrating it like it's celebrating Christmas a little bit differently, celebrating it in a bit more of a split up kind of way. Um, um, and this is like mostly because neither of my parents live locally to me either. Um, so I'm used to sort of like this very um, drawn out kind of process for for the holidays. Um, what I'm not used to is having my own Christmas at home. <laughs> So last year was my first time um, actually cooking my own Christmas dinner, um, sort of doing all the stuff, making the day sort of Christmassy for me. Yeah, I didn't have anybody with me for it, um, but it was my first experience of my own homegrown kind of Christmas. Um, and for as lonely as it was, because you know I was on my own um, and not, I'm not by choice, um, it was also kind of really nice and I did quite enjoy, it felt more relaxed um, because as I said my parents don't live locally so usually Christmas day I'll either go to one of theirs or to the others of theirs and then because I'll be working um, Boxing Day like you Quite often I've been working Boxing Day, that means I can't stay at theirs and I have to come home and the reason I'm working Boxing Day is because my brothers aren't down until later on during the holiday period so I want those days off and not the earlier days off. Um, so it's just it's just always made sense to kind of, to, to sort of do it that way. Um, but it means that Christmas Day feels like quite a bit of a rush. Um, quite often I'm like, 
traveling out to Hilette's house, uh, like the last few times it's been my mum's, mum specifically. Um, but like I'd be traveling up after work or on Christmas Eve because I would usually be working Christmas Eve as well just so that I could get the time off that I want off. Um, so I'll, I'll sort of travel um, up on Christmas Eve and um, usually sort of get there sort of like late in the evening and then uh, you know doing Christmas Day and then having to come back home on Christmas Day and then going back to work the following day and it's all felt very very rushed. Uh, so it was really nice last year um, when I was able to sort of just do Christmas Day here and do it at my own pace, do it uh, sort of like everything sort of like went to, to when I wanted it to be done, um, I wasn't having to worry about um, coming home to work and like having to stop my celebration because you know I had to work the following day or anything like that, just really nice, really relaxed, um, so I, I did thoroughly sort of enjoy that kind of experience, as I said, ideally I wouldn't have spent it on my own, um, but the actual experience itself was, it was a lot more laid back for me, which is weird because I was doing more work. <laughs> But it was a lot more laid back for me because um, I wasn't having to think about, oh, I need to sort of do this now, I need to sort of travel now, and I need to sort of do this, and I need to sort of do that. It was just very nice and relaxed. Um, and this year I'm doing another homegrown Christmas, um, but I'm not going to be doing it alone. Yes. Um, so the cute friend is coming down for Christmas. Um, so we are going to be having our own Christmas day here in my own lovely hut. Uh, we are going to be cooking Christmas lunch together. I am very, very much looking forward to it. Um, as I said, I really enjoyed the process of doing it last year and doing it with someone else feels like it should be a good thing. Um, I mean, I, I, I kind of know how to cook a roast. They kind of know how to cook a roast. <laughs> we should be fine. <laughs> Between the two of us, we, we've got it covered. Um, so yeah, uh, they're, they're coming down for Christmas um, and we're going to be spending Christmas Day here in my flat and it's going to be hopefully a really nice day. Um, I am very much sort of looking forward to it. Um, they're also going to be meeting the family over the time that they are down. Um, so Christmas Day, well they, they'll arrive sort of afternoon and evening on the 23rd um, and then they're going back on the 29th so during that stretch of time um, <laughs> they will be meeting my family <laughs> I am sure they are looking forward to it. I mean, my family my family is lovely um, there are rather a lot of us um, but then from what I've gathered, they, they also come from a fairly large family, or an equally sized family. Um, I don't know if they necessarily um, see them as, as often as I see some of my family members. Um, but from what I've gathered, we, we're sort of more on level playing field for the size of family that we sort of, size of families that we sort of come from. I'm not sure if theirs are slightly bigger or slightly smaller than mine, but it's, they're sort of close enough um, that they know what to expect from a larger family um, and I mean I wouldn't even say that my family is necessarily huge I know there are definitely bigger families out there um, but compared to a lot of my friends um, I know I have a larger family um, and I think they, they have a similar experience where they, they you know their family isn't necessarily huge but it's still larger than you know most people are kind of used to dealing with and I'm not just talking about immediate relatives, although my side of things, yeah, my immediate relatives, there are more of them than, <laughs> than they, they have. Um, but in terms of, you know, just general sort of like families, um, my dad's side of the family is fairly big, my mom's side of the family is fairly big. Um, never twain shall meet anymore. <laughs> uh, well, there's no sort of like hostility between, between it, not not really, not like that, um, but it, you know, just child of divorce, they, you know, they used to be events where you get both sides together and those don't really happen anymore. Um, so yeah, um, they won't be meeting like my extended family, but they will be meeting my sort of immediate family, which is bigger than their immediate family, um, if nothing else. <laughs> 
um, obviously I'll be uh, video calling with them, with their family um, on one of those days as well. Um, I don't know if it's just going to be their parents or it's going to be uh, their siblings as well or if there's going to be like multiple things going on. I, I don't know, we haven't really organised all that sort of stuff yet, but like the details aren't quite there yet. Um, there's time, there's time for it to get all those details. Um, but yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> uh, as I said, I'm, I'm really quite looking forward to it now. Um, more so now that I, I kind of have a better idea of like how things are going to flow um, in terms of when, where we're going to be and when we're going to be there. Um, I was quite sort of um, not stressed out exactly, but um, because I do have to work during the Christmas period because of the type of job that I do, um, and I didn't know what my brothers were doing until very end of November, which is not great for trying to organise things with work. I got lucky that my days off were already scheduled really nicely so that I can do all the things I want to do um, and that was purely by chance. Um, I think I literally messaged her, my business manager the day that she was doing the, doing the schedule. I was like, I'm going to do this. She's like, I've already given them to you. <laughs> Um, but I didn't, I it, I can't book time off over the Christmas, so I was just going to negotiate for, for the days that I could get, um, and actually I didn't need to do that in the end because I was given like a nice, um, nice spread of days off, so during the time that the cute friend is down, I'm only actually working one of those days, which is right in the middle of it, um, which is a little bit annoying because it means um, the day that we see my dad, I, we would there be a time limit on how like we can kind of stay because I need to get home to, to work the following day um but you know it's it is what it is <laughs> it is the way it just works out sometimes um but it's nice that I'm only actually working that one day and that I will be able to see them properly whilst they are down um on the other other days um so yeah I'm, I'm at the point now where I can sort of relax a little bit I know how the week is going to shake out a little bit. I mean, I don't know all the precise ins and outs, but I've got a general idea of how the week is going to go, how, how things are going to um, going to work forward. And it's nice. It's a, it's a nice feeling. It's um, yeah, I'm I'm a lot less stressed about it now than I was when I was kind of like, oh, there is so much stuff to kind of organise. And I'm like that. It's just it's just kind of the way I am. It's when sort of like something is suggested and I'm like, that's going to be a lot of planning. How is this going to work? How are we going to figure out all the ways of making this work? Um, I sort of get very sort of like stressed, um, sort of like thinking about that and sort of like worrying about like how it's going to work and, and how it's going to like, um, if it's going to work and how, and, and, and all, all of that kind of thing. But as soon as I can sort of like see how it's going to work, as soon as I can sort of like, see that actually no it's not going to be like this this massive kind of stress actually it's going to like pan out really nicely and it's going to be a nice smooth kind of operation <laughs> as it were um, then I kind of relax and then I can kind of get excited about it so I'm one of those people that I can't get excited about something until I I sorted out all like the stressful planning sort of side of it and that doesn't mean I need to have every single detail in place it just means I need to have enough details in place for me to kind of go, okay, I can relax now and everything else can kind of flow from there and we can sort of figure out the small, finer details from there. I just need like the big pieces in place and until those big pieces are in place, I can't relax about it. And um, for Christmas, especially planning what I'm doing around the Christmas time is incredibly stressful for me because my brother's are really bad at letting me know what they're planning to do for Christmas. <laughs> they are so bad. <laughs> they are the, like, it's, it's, oh, it's so much of a nightmare. Um, because I'll ask them, like, in October to let me know roughly what they're planning to do for Christmas because I need to get my, you know, I need to get my requests in fairly early because, you know, I'm on a monthly schedule. Um, and you know my business manager starts planning it like halfway through November, so I I need to know I need to know what they're doing. 
um, and then they won't get back to me for weeks, and I'll prompt them, and they won't get back to me for weeks, and I, and I get it, you know, they, they've got a lot of stuff on their end to kind of plan and organise and this, that, and the other, and, you know, they don't necessarily know until a little bit later exactly what they're doing, but it's then very stressful for me because I'm kind of like, I can't plan anything. I can't start planning anything until I know because for me, they're kind of the biggest piece because I want to be able to celebrate Christmas with my brothers um, because, you know, they, they are my brothers and I care about them and I want to be able to see them. But I don't get the chance to see them all the time um, when they are around. So, yeah, it's very sort of, yeah, for me, that's kind of like the, the big big stressful piece that I can't do anything with until I know um, and then sort of once that piece kind of fell into place and then my scheduling fell into place and it was all like really my space um, that I had and then um, knowing where I was going to be on particular days sort of fell into place that's when I started to be able to relax and even though I, I know we still have to plan out all like, like the little finer details um, I'm now able to re relax and get excited about it because all the big stressful details have been sorted. <laughs> and that's just how I am. I can't start getting excited about something until I feel like I'm in control of the situation. Until I feel like I'm in control of the situation, it's just like this big full of stress. Um, and that's just, it's just me. That's just the way I am. That's just the way I go about things. It's not, you know, it doesn't worry me when someone else is putting me into a situation that is in the short run stressful whilst I try to figure everything out um, because I know at which point where all that stuff gets sorted and then I can get really excited about it. It's just I like to have a certain level of control <laughs> and that's what it comes down to. I like to have a certain level of control. Um, I am in general a very routine person. I'm a very organized person. I'm not necessarily a very tidy person but uh, <laughs> That doesn't go hand in hand with everything else, right? <laughs> um, but I, I like having a certain level of order and control and sort of flow over the situation. And when I'm presented with a situation that I've not had to deal with before, um, or a situation that I know is going to take a little bit of organising in order to get it to work and in order to have like everything figured out, my immediate reaction is to go, oh my god, this is really, really stressful. But then once I've kind of worked through all of those things and figured out a plan and I know there is a certain level of control and organisation to it, then I can relax and get excited about it. So I'm now in the really excited about it phase and it's a good phase to be in. Um, so like I said, I never worry when somebody presents me with something that immediately makes me go oh god there's so much organizing I'm really stressed I really want to do this thing but I'm really stressed at the thought of having to do this thing <laughs> because I know that's just my immediate reaction to it it's not as I said there's always an element of I really want to do this thing but it's the, the immediate feeling that I get is the stress of the actual organization of it and then because I do genuinely really want to do this thing, once the, the organising has reached a certain level, then I can relax and then let the excited feeling kind of take over. And, um, it's the same, like my, my friends, um, we've not managed to actually plan anything yet, but we do keep talking about planning uh, to do a holiday together, uh, probably to Disneyland or something like that. Um, but because of, like there's no definites in place, there's no whens in place, there's nothing like definite like that. Um, my my reaction is yes, it's something I really want to do, but I get stressed at the thought of it because it's so that it's at a stage of being so unorganised and so disorganised. So yeah, I'm I'm very much like that, and I, I think sometimes the more I want something, the more the stress kind of it kind of gets to me because it it, it just is that an immediate reaction it's just how I sort of immediately cope with things but once I kind of get through that and things are organized and I feel more in control of the situation again then I can get genuinely excited and I do get genuinely excited about these things even if they initially cause me a lot of stress because it is something that as I said if I didn't really want to do it I would just say no I wouldn't put up with the stress of it <laughs> I wouldn't put up with that initial stress. I am, you know, very good at kind of going, no, 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 um, if I absolutely need to. Um, but like nine times out of ten, the reason I'm feeling stressed at the thought of it is because I actually want to do it. It's just 
trying to get to a point where it feels realistic, it feels like it's something that's going to happen, and taking something from like the, the concept to the reality, there's that little stress of organising in between, and that's when, that's like the worst phase to be in, but once I kind of get past that phase, it's all excitement, and I'm happy, and yeah, I'm very glad that I'm in that phase now. Can you tell? Um, all right, okay, I hope this babbling has sort of made sense. It always definitely does not make any sense, I do apologise. Um, I hope whatever you, your plans are for the Christmas, that it's something that you are excited about. Um, I know one person out there who's probably the same excited for the same reason that, that I am, and that's because I know they keep very much of this. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I hope whatever your plans are for the Christmas that it's something that you're excited about. Um, I hope that everything works out the way that you're hoping it would work. Um, I hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is I'm going to be talking about next time. It is probably going to be the roundup of December, just based on the timing of when this one is probably going to go out. Um, and I will see you next time. See ya! <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others, and if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching, see ya!